Hey guys, I was wondering, what's better, tradition or innovation? Stick around for this video to find out. Hey guys, I'm Johnny Flores, and I just wanted to discuss um, traditional micathas versus the poly micathas. So these are both bosals I made. This is an older one, made it last November. And these are horsehair micathas, traditional, very traditional. And personally, I just like the way that they feel better. They're a little bit heavier, and there's a lot more balance. When you play with them, they tend to create a signal that trickles all the way down to the bolsal. Most people get confused by signal. What I mean by that is like a, like a blinker in a car saying, I'm in a turn, I'm in a turn, and then you turn. You're sort of giving your horse, hey, I'm gonna pull you, and then you double them, or do whatever other maneuver. Um, they also are prickly <laughs> to hold, very, very prickly, and that helps a lot with neck reining. Colts will be more attentive to that. Um, these, these are just great for training and they're really heavy for the heel knot too. So when you release, the heel knot falls and lets the horse know they did good faster. Um, one con that I find with the traditional Makatis is that when it's really humid or rainy, they stiffen up really, really hard. And they're not all that usable when it's like that. So that's why we also have poly Makatis. Now, these are cheaper because they're not horsehair. They're just a good old pair of poly this. They have a rawhide heel knot, which is a little bit heavier, adds for more release, but they just aren't as heavy as I'd like my this to be. Um, and they're, they're just a little bit stiffer. And when I, when I do stuff, they just don't, they don't work as well. They don't, they don't carry a little bend all the way down to the horse saying, hey, listen. And they're just not as heavy. Um, Really the only pro that I find with using polymic at this is that they don't get at all hard when it's rainy or when it's humid. They actually seem to get a little bit softer. Um, but again, this is just my opinion on tradition versus innovation. Um, I'd recommend getting both for both kinds of work. Uh, if you plan to do cow work or anything fast, probably horse hair at this. Um, and a bonus, they look cool. Stay tuned for future episodes, things that I'll be talking about, and more tradition versus innovation. Thank you for watching. Hey guys, so just a quick note um, about these videos and my channel and what I'm trying to start. I just want to share a lot about things that I've started to learn, my love of tack, making tack, kind of looking at innovational stuff, traditional stuff, old Vaquero things, and just all my passion for that. Um, so please just like, subscribe, possibly share that would really help me out let me know what content you guys really like um, video suggestions in the comments that'd be great too thank you so much um, please stay tuned thanks for watching